to try and control a massive population of Burmese pythons, the South Florida Water Management District has implemented a python elimination program to help clear the Everglades of this invasive species. Since the program was started, over 800 pythons have been captured in South Florida, but estimates say there may be tens of thousands of them. Patrick Campbell is one of the snake hunters, and he thinks the number may be much higher. I think probably over 100,000 is, is probably a safe bet. Um, the, the big uh, event that kind of um, established it here was Hurricane Andrew, and I know that there's kind of a regular influx of, of just new releases as people kind of get tired of old pets. And they'll release them in, in these areas and they kind of help uh, feed the, the genetic diversity in the area and kind of keep the population strong. So how does one go about catching one of these creatures? The spotlights are a big part of it. These are really big constrictors. They're not particularly afraid of, of predators. They're not um, skittish like some of our local snakes. So you always want to kind of try to get to them as quickly as you can, but you don't want to startle them if you can help it. The first thing that you'll find as you kind of approach them is they'll start flickering their tongue. Um, so they're more interested in kind of what's going on, what you are. Um, but if you keep a spotlight in their face, they're going to have some problems with visibility. They're not going to really know what's going on. And by that time, hopefully you're close enough to be able to get them by the head. And once you've got them by the head, even the big ones, they're generally pretty easy to control. Eliminating the population completely isn't really a reasonable goal. So right now, the program aims to manage the population and keep the snakes out of certain areas. Obviously, the, they don't belong here, and they're, and they're such large animals that they really are kind of at the top of the food chain. So the, the ideal number is zero. Uh, we'd like to get rid of them altogether. I don't think anyone who's actually addressing this problem is thinking about eradication. Right now, it's just about kind of keeping them out of more sensitive areas um, and also trying to keep the populations as low as we can. If you feel like trying your hand at catching snakes, the South Florida Water Management District pays eligible hunters $8.10 an hour to look for pythons, plus bonuses for the snakes caught.